السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا ونفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رحم الرحمين We ask Allah عز وجل Teach us what benefit us Benefit us from what he taught us And increase us in knowledge My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah عز وجل to make me and you From the people who listen and apply Being tested is part of our life The believers being tested The non-believers being tested Uh The righteous is being tested, the not so righteous is being tested, the Arab is being tested, the non-Arab is being tested. Everybody is being tested. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran, الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created death and life in order to test who among us is doing the best of a'mal. Some are tested with blessings, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see how grateful they are and some others are tested by hardships for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see how patient they are. Today we will specifically discuss the test of sickness. Many people are being sick, many people have chronic sickness and many people are suffering from all kinds of different illnesses. Some people when they are sick and you visit them and ask them how are they feeling, they complain. They say, I don't know where this came from. I am always taking care of my health. Uh, I pray and I fast and I give in charity why these things are happening to me and so on. But there are others who are constantly thanking Allah Azza wa Jal. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. Anytime you ask, Alhamdulillah, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. To Allah we belong and to Him we shall return. Alhamdulillah, Allah took few things from me, but He left so many. This is how the believer reacts when he's asked how he or she are feeling when they are sick. Imam al-Dahabi rahimahullah mentioned the story. He said there was a righteous man, his name is Abdullah ibn Muhammad. Abdullah ibn Muhammad, he was traveling and he got lost in the desert and while he was lost he saw a raggedy tent and he got closer to the tent and he saw someone inside constantly repeating and saying Alhamdulillah alladhi faddalani ala kathirin mimman min ibadihi tafdila This man was constantly repeating all praise is to Allah the one who have favored me in so many blessings to so many of his slaves So this man Abdullah went inside the tent he saw a man that is blind paralyzed, no arms, and inside the tent there is nothing, subhanAllah. And this man constantly repeating that statement, Alhamdulillah alladhi faddalani ala kathirin min ibadihi tafdila. So Abdullah was very surprised and he said to the man, Assalamu alaikum alaikum assalam, so can I ask you a question? He said, yes, absolutely. He said, you are constantly thanking Allah Azza wa Jal and I'm looking here, you're blind, you have no arms, your tent is battered and shattered and the wind is going through it. So why, what are you grateful for? So the man said, am I understanding what you're saying? And Abdullah said, yes. He said, that means I am sane. How many insane people are on earth. Abdullah said so many. He said Allah favored me over all these people. I can hear you right? So the man said yes. 
He said, how many deaf people are there on earth? So many. The man said, Allah has favored me over all these people. I am remembering Allah, right? He said, yes, I hear you all the time. He said, how many people, they have tongue and they have full health and they're not even remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. So Abdullah said, so many. He said, Alhamdulillah, Allah favored me over so many. He took many things from me, but he left me a tongue that is constantly remembering him. Look at that attitude. Look at that attitude. And listen to what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. When someone is sick, what happens? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when a person becomes ill, Allah azza wa jal sends two angels to him and he says, see what my abd says to the people who are visiting him. So Allah will tell the angels, go to that man who's sick, go to that woman that are sick, that is sick, and see what are they saying to the people when they visit them, when they visit them when they're sick, what is their reply? The angels go to inform Allah Azza wa Jal, and Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is the all knowing, that this man, Ya Allah, every time somebody visit him, he says, Alhamdulillah. He constantly say, Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. I'm doing great. Alhamdulillah. Allah has so many favors upon me. Huh? So Ya Allah, this is what that person replied. Allah Azza wa Jal will, will answer. Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Allah would say, I take it upon myself that if, that if I cause him to pass away, I will grant him entry to Jannah. And if I cure him, I will replace him with better flesh, better blood, and I will erase all his sins. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So Shifa, Jannah, and forgiveness of sins, just to be grateful when we are afflicted by a sickness. Be content with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed, not to complain and be pleased with the decree of Allah Azza wa Jal. Another evidence that the sins will be forgiven when we are sick, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a Muslim, male or female, continues to remain under trial in respect of his life, property and offsprings until he or she faces Allah with no sins. We are always being faced with trials and when we are patient and accepting the decree of Allah, we will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with no sins. Similarly, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, no Muslim who's afflicted with hurt caused by disease or some other inconvenience, but Allah will remove his sins just like the tree shed its leaves. You know how in the winter all the leaves fall from the tree? Our sins will drop when we are patient, when we are afflicted by any kind of sickness. Listen to this hadith. Jabir reported that Rasulullah saying, on the day of resurrection, Allahu Akbar, on that day of resurrection, when people who have suffered affliction are given their reward. So the people who were sick in this dunya and they were very patient, they are given their reward. Now, who's watching them? The people who were healthy in this dunya. I will continue the hadith. Those who were healthy will wish that they, their skins have been cut to pieces with scissors when they were in the dunya. Let me repeat. When the people who were sick and patient are given their reward in the Akhirah, the healthy people that they were not sick in this dunya, they would say, we wish we can go back to the dunya and cut with scissors to get that kind of reward. Allahu Akbar. So my sick brother, my sick sister, we are going through so much hardship. Look at this reward. Be patient and accept Accept the decree of Allah Azza wa Jal and remember that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala does not overburden anyone with more than they can handle. Impossible.
impossible. So that sickness that you're going through, you can definitely handle it. Just be patient and remember the reward. And remember that the one who is testing you is the most merciful. The most merciful. One of the righteous predecessors, he said, if it wasn't for the tests in this dunya, we will come on the day of judgment bankrupt. Subhanallah. So don't ever ask for sickness and constantly ask Allah for afia, for health. But if we are afflicted by any kind of sickness, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests the people he loves and the, the more patient we are, the more we will be rewarded. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the patience when we are being tested. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our last deeds, our best deeds, and our last words, La ilaha illallah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nashadan la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. كتاب أنزل إليك فلا يكن في صدرك حرج منه لتنذر به وذكرى لله